if you simply disseminate information and ask students to regurgitate it on a standardized test, that in and of itself absolutely will not prepare students for the problems and the challenges that they're going to face in the 21st century. You want to be able to help kids work together in teams. It's absolutely critical that they work together and they share their answers and their thought processes and they think about solutions. And then to be able to communicate what it is they're thinking and why they're thinking and then to be able to apply that learning in real time, in real life to solve a problem. And those are simply things that you can't do unless you develop a system that promotes engagement and that uses technology in ways that kids can explore and grow and learn. We were very in tune with creating real application of real work, real attributes that would provide students with opportunities that they may uh, otherwise not have. Um, at Skyline High School, um, we're really focused on the STEM Academy, which is one of our large initiatives in this district. And we're really getting students, especially um, females and minority students, ready for their futures. And it's a direct pathway into careers and post-secondary experiences. We really um, are a cutting edge facility, which allows students to um, experience client-based work, really have a voice in a lot of the projects, but also developing leadership skills. Um, they are out speaking with CEOs, they're prototyping, they're developing and creating solutions to real world problems. On the other end, you know, we've seen evidence of student engagement. Um, we have seen standardized test scores really continue to climb. We've seen um, attendance and graduation rates continue to improve. For our teachers, it's a very exciting time where we're actually um, infusing the creativity back into their teaching. We've used the design thinking process out of the Stanford D School to really be our core. And with that, um, teachers have made a, a large paradigm shift into becoming facilitators of student learning. Now we have a whole host of opportunities that are available for kids where they can take a look at what they think about what they like, where their passion lies, where their, where their aptitude is, and they can pursue that. We open choice up, we open the boundaries up, and we let kids pursue these areas that they're interested in. And we expect them to own it and to take the responsibility for their learning.